this is Ijaz Khan and in this video we will be discussing SWOT analysis but before we discuss SWOT analysis let's first have a quick review of what we have studied so far as you know that we started SBL with the strategic planning model proposed by Johnson Scholes and Whittington and according to this model every strategic planning process of a company will involve three key steps. Number one, analyzing strategic position of the organization. Number two, identifying strategic choices that will help the company to move from its current strategic position to a desired strategic position in the future. And once the strategies are identified and chosen, then it will be time to put those strategies into action. So these three stages will help an organization to come up with a strategy that will best suit the organization. So when we say analyzing strategic position, we mean that the organization should look at itself from internal perspective and from external perspective. When we say external analysis, we mean that we should look at the environmental factors both at micro level and macro level that may help the organization to grow or it may create threats for the organization's growth and we have already studied different models that help us to analyze the external environment of any organization at micro level we have studied the port of five forces at the macro level, we have studied Pestle and Porter Diamond. Once we're done with the external analysis, then will be the time to analyze the organization from inside and see what the internal environment is, what are the strengths and weaknesses of the organization, so that the company knows about its strengths and is in the best position to use those strengths to grow further and it should also know what its weaknesses are so that it can convert those weaknesses into strengths and gain competitive advantage we are going to discuss a model that will help us analyze the organization from both internal perspective and external perspective and that model is called SWOT analysis SWOT analysis is basically about four factors which the organization must identify and analyze before it can come up with any strategy. One of these factors is the strength. That is, the organization should be able to identify and analyze its strengths so that it can come up with a strategy that will help the organization to use its strengths to gain sustainable competitive advantage because any strategy that organization formulates will be using the organization's strengths so it goes without saying that identification and analysis of strength is of vital importance for any strategic planning process so when we say strengths we mean the things that we do better than our competitors and we can find out these strengths by asking few questions like what we are good at the answer will be the strength what do we do better than anyone else the answer will be our strength what is our competitive advantage? What helps us attract customers? What do we do that no one else does? Again, the answer will be the strength. What resources do we have at our disposal? So the resources that we can use to gain competitive advantage will be our strengths. So once we know that what our strengths are, for example, if we believe that we have good marketing department we've got good resources in our marketing department 
then we'll be in a better position to use those resources that we have in the marketing department and it will help us formulate a strategy in which we'll be using our marketing skills to gain competitive advantage over our competitors. But if we don't know what strengths do we have, we will never be able to use those strengths. Once we are done with identifying the best things that we have, then will be the things that we are not bad at, we are not good at. And these will be weaknesses. We cannot avoid ourselves from getting harmed by the weaknesses unless and until we know what weaknesses do we have. For example, if we are weak or if we don't do marketing well, this will be considered as our weakness. And without identifying this weakness of us, if we come up with any strategy, there will be great chance that we might fail because we may not be doing or may not be marketing whatever products we are going to offer effectively. And this will in return harm us. So it is important for us to identify what are the things that we are not doing better than our competitors or what are the things that our, cust that our customers don't like about us. How can we identify? We can simply identify our weaknesses by asking a few questions. And if we are able to answer those questions, we are actually identifying our weaknesses. Number one, what are we bad at? The things that we don't do good. Find out the things that our competitors do better than us. Of course, then it, these things will be our weaknesses. What do our customers complain about? Maybe our customers complain about our late or deliveries. Now let's suppose that most of our com customers, they complain about the goods that we deliver, deliver and we deliver them late. And at the same time, if we're starting to wind up all our physical outlets and we're trying to move towards an online business with such a big weakness, we wouldn't be able to succeed. So if we need to go to an online business, we must f first find out do we have any weakness that may stop us from performing better in this new business or new business model. So it's very important to, to, to identify weaknesses. So what disadvantages does our team carry? Maybe we don't have good teamwork coming up. Maybe we have problems with the management. Maybe we have problem with the recruitment. Which resources we are lacking? Maybe we do not have enough capacity. Our machines have a limited capacity. Maybe we have bottleneck resources that are that are stopping us from increasing our market share. So what are the areas that we could improve? So the answer to all these questions will basically be our weaknesses. Then comes the external analysis. We need to find out the, the opportunities that we that we may have from the environment and that we can avail them. So there may be things happening in the environment that will benefit us. What potential regulations changes could help our business? Maybe the, the, the government is getting involved into a free trade agreement and this might increase our exports. So this may be an opportunity for us if we if we have the right strategy to avail it. Is the current economy going to affect us in a positive way? Maybe there is an economic growth. We expect an economic growth, and with the with this economic growth, maybe being, being a high end producer, a high end product producer, we may be benefiting from this growth in the economy. What opportunities we have not pursued yet? Maybe. We haven't tapped the online market. Maybe we have an opportunity to enter into any online business and sell our products through e-commerce platform. So this may be an opportunity for us. What new opportunities are becoming available?
so maybe we 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 expect the growth in the telecommunication networks and being a manufacturer of cell phones it will be an opportunity for us so once we're done with identifying opportunities then it will be the time to identify the risks that may come in the environment and that may act as barriers for our growth like something coming up from our competitors maybe competitors they are they are expected to reduce their prices is this is going to put us in trouble maybe they are coming up with any aggressive marketing campaign or maybe they are coming up with a new product new technology maybe we expect somebody else to come to, to enter into the market maybe it's it's a foreign competitor which may be a very good one for example if we are a local man car manufacturer and we expect some, a german car company a german car company entering into the market it will be considered as a threat for us is our market size declining or is the industry changing in the way that could negatively impact our business so there may be many things that we expect happening in the environment and that may act as barrier to our growth or market share or will reduce our market share these are threats of our any organization now if you look at this whole analysis together we can understand the importance of these four factors if an organization knows what its strengths are what weaknesses does it carry and what opportunities does it expect from the environment and what are the threats that it expects from the environment it will be able to come up with a strategy that will help the organization to use its strengths to avail opportunities and avoid threats and it will also help the organization to create to, to convert its weaknesses into opportunities in, into strengths and threats into opportunities sometimes a threat or a risk may be converted into an opportunity if the right strategy is opted but this will only be possible if you know what the threats are and what your strengths are and most of the times you will be in a position to use your strengths in a way that you can convert the the threat into opportunity so in an SBL exam you may be required to perform this SWOT analysis but it is least likely that the organization the examiner will ask you to use SWOT analysis but you should keep this model whenever you are supposed to analyze the external and internal environment of the organization and you may be asked to recommend appropriate strategy for a given situation so do remember to use SWOT analysis as an as a tool for analyzing internal and external environment thank you for watching